Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this sidebar to your Blogger website. Now in my previous video, I showed you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And here you can see we also have these hover effects for this sidebar. And we also have this button over here to expand this. And if I click on that, we can see we have this full version of the sidebar. And we can see that we have this label displayed over here in front of the icon. And if I click on this button once again, it goes back to the minimized version. So if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code. So let's get started. Alright, this is the blogger website where we're going to add the sidebar. So let's go to the dashboard and if I go over here to theme, you can see that I'm using this theme called Notable Light. And it comes by default with Blogger. So if you scroll down, you can see the theme over here. All right, now let's go ahead and add the sidebar. So let's click on this button and click on Edit HTML. And here we need to add the CSS, the HTML and the JavaScript. So let's go to the source code. And this is the source code. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So first of all, let's copy the CSS. So I'll just copy everything from this line of code. And let's go till the end over here. And let's copy this and let's paste it over here. So let's scroll down and find the CSS. So this is all the CSS of the theme. Let's go to the end. So this is where the CSS ends. So I'll just make some space over here. And I'll just create a comment. I'll just type sidebar. And let's just paste the CSS over here. Alright, the CSS has been copied. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML. And here we can see we are using font awesome icons. So let's copy the link of font awesome from here. And let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the top and here inside the head tag we need to add the link of font awesome. So I'll just paste it over here. Right now let's go back to our source code and let's copy all this HTML. So I'll just copy everything from here till the end over here. And uh, let's go to the end. So here just before the body ends I'll just make some space over here. And let's paste the HTML. And now we also need to add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And I'll just copy everything from here and let's paste it over here. Right now let's save this and let's see whether it works. Right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now here we can see we have some problems in our CSS. So let's see what's the problem. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. Now the problem is that there's already an element with a class of sidebar container. So here we can see in our HTML, we had given this a class of sidebar container. So we have to change this to something else. So let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's scroll down. And here in the HTML, I'll just change this sidebar container to something else. So I'll just type my sidebar container. And here in the JavaScript, we need to change this to my sidebar container. So I'll just type my. And even here, we need to type my sidebar container. All right, now we need to change the class in our CSS as well. So let's scroll up and let's go to the CSS. And I'll just change all of this to my sidebar container. And I'll just copy this and paste it everywhere else. Alright, I have renamed all the sidebar container to my sidebar container. So let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. Now here we can see that the sidebar is displayed over here, but we still have some problems in the styling. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's see what's the problem. So let's go over here to menu items. And here we can see for all these anchor tags, we have a lot of height. So let's scroll down and let's see what's the problem. Now here we can see in body we have a property called word break and it is set to break word. So if I disable this, we can see everything works all right. So we have to disable that for this sidebar. So let's go over here to menu items. And here I'll just type word break and set it to initial. And now we can see we don't have any problems. If you go back and if we enable this, we still don't have any problems because it is disabled over here in the sidebar container. So let's add this line of code to our menu items. So I'll just copy this from here and let's go back to our code. Let's go to the CSS. 
and let's go to the menu items and uh, here we have the menu items so I'll just add the line of code over here by the way you can go ahead and change the details over here in the HTML so here we can see we have these menu items and you can go ahead and change the icon you can go ahead and change the text and you can also add and remove menu items from here and then you can go ahead and change this hash to whatever link you want to put over here so for example if you want to put the link of the home page over here you can just copy the link of the home page from here and just paste it over here instead of this hash right now let's save this and let's go back to our web page and now we can see we don't have any problems everything is working all right if i click on this uh, button we have the extended view and everything works all right so that's basically how you add a sidebar to your blogger website now if you want to learn this from scratch you can watch my previous video i will leave the link in the description of this video and i will also leave the link of the source code so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day